Jones at 147. So many great fights, Junior. What have you seen it when, it when you just throws one punch? He works the body very awkward kind of style. It's hard to get his timing. Southpaws, Antonio. You know the game from. It's like two conventional fighters fighting. I mean, and the uh, strong hands is behind him. Jab a little bit more of a factor when you're not facing an opposite. Van here lowering his hands and, and uh, stuck his head out in the ring sometimes, he said. And anything significant, but it seems like Van Horn is swelled. Redness. A few times, I think that's what's called that redness around the eyes. And I like the. Huh. Sport and a fantastic amateur career in the Olympics as well. We made it to the here. Uh, there was a mistake in the scoring, and then Spence won. He said he could not hear himself back up for the quarterfinal match, which looked like he's on his way as well. And we talk about all the time. Build your fundamentals. You learn the fundamentals coming up in the end. Is really sound fundamentals. Tight punches, hands high, and many more gaps in Ben Heerden's game. Man, nice. Solid. As you watch us live here on Spike, one of our episodes of your favorite shows, anytime, anywhere, for free. Just right through the guard. He's not moving his head. He's in a shake your head. <laughs> yeah. You've got to find a way around there. Well, like, well, like you said, coming into this fight, and again, you know, taking the echelon of a trainer, so I can miss far. Errol Spence looks very comfortable now and is just using a, a bevy of different punches. Now it's target practice. The punches. I think he's been jab. Now he can land some power shots oh, like that. Later comes back and Van Heerden and Van Heerden. No, if Heerden's gonna make this a fight, he's gonna have to get Errol Spence out of his comfort zone. Oh, that doesn't mean low blows, it means dirtily. The right. kind of fight that isn't about timing and technique, because Errol Spence has that. Yes, he does. Oh, and that snapped back Van Heerden's head. Or as we've seen it from a few different punches here. There 30 and 2, uh, former multiple world champ. The legend out it before, and he won't deny it. He just says that's what they say. Anything that happens in sparring, that's a rule in the gym. Everybody knows that. As, uh, as your own eyes tell you, that uh, act heavily in favor of Spence. Poor form to brag about that. There was confidence, there was some maturity for even a young man. Uh, he knows where he is in his career. But he's all, he's no games, all trying to find a, a, a loophole. Sparring with Canelo, he'd sparring with fast fighters, bigger fighters, hard hitters, but not guys who are going to throw combinations with this kind of speed. I think he's having trouble adjusting to the speed of Errol Spence at welterweight. Man, and he's not moving, he's, he's not dancing, he's in there trying to land. Punishing, punishing, punishing shots, and he looks beautiful. Look, Van Heerden is a guy who kind of squints when he fights anyways. Those squints are actually very thin right now. Yes. There is some swelling. He's being squinting added up on the end of round from the man in red, white, and blue. Shot. In defeat, all the other U.S. Olympians from 2012 in their pro careers. Best two. If you look at Van here, he's playing on the outside, moving. That's not where he's going to be successful. That's not the dirty, ugly fight that he needs, champ. No. In the corner, and he doesn't do that. He backs off, ends up in the center. Do a lot of express, uh, impressive things with El Spence, but the thing that I'm going to come from a spot where you don't see it, and it's a delayed shot after the one, too. And if Van here that doesn't have a mouthpiece, and he appeared to be in trouble in the corner ropes, but he fights his way back out, landing a couple body shots for apparently spitting the mouthpiece in Alan Hutchins' mind. It was the second time that it came out of Van Heerden, and the last thing Van Heerden needs is a point deduction. Rolling the fourth round, and we're already getting into he can't fit it the second time, maybe the first time as well. But sharp jab, boy. We're actually going to show you a replay of it. The truck telling us that uh, Spence punched the, the mouth guard out. So that dinner, you and I were talking about southpaws with great jabs. There aren't many out there. Errol Spence doing a lot of damage with that sharp lead hand. Great jab. Five back live in Toronto right now. That was Derek James, the corner man for Errol Spence Jr. Stan, they'll stop what we showed you at the end of round four. You think that was a lip deduction or no, Antonio? No, Turner? not at all. Not at all because he, he, he knocked it out with a jab. I want to remind you, light heavyweight champ Liam McGeary battles Tito Ortiz, plus a four-man one-night tournament over. that's going to crown a number one contender. It's generating over there in that corner. Uppercut, brutal, right through the center. Body shots. Go for the problem is Van Heerden being his head at all is an easy target. It's just the volume of punches. They're coming from everywhere. Antonio, Jimmy, that 
that left eye looks like big problems vision wise for Van Bearden. You'll see it again in just a moment right side of Spence. Hit, hit the one in the middle. There's <laughs> not a lot you can do with one eye. Depth reception is gone. Well, let's look at great body shots. <laughs> Hashtag PBC on Spike. The one thing Van Heerden can do is throw at this range where he doesn't have to judge the range. You know, they're inside, you know your opponent's in front of you. You can't see, but you can still throw. But Spence Jr. keeping it at this range, showing he can fight really well inside. So far, the move where you can see him. It's just not unloading. The difference here is balance. Look at how you have him in the corner. He's settled. And he's got both feet on the ground solidly. And here to trying to prove he can come to the end of five, scheduled for ten. Watching from back home, Chris Van Heerden left everything behind in his home country to pour the boxing here in North America. And right now, he's fighting with one eye, guys. There's a such thing in boxing as just the wrong amount of heart. Hurt Earl Spence. Oh, the legends. Uh, Feud Van Heerden's mouth guard coming when you're winning the jab. We heard earlier from Errol Spence's trainer, Derek James. James told us at the fighter meeting that, that we'll see a, a whole lot behind any one punch. His gas looks good. He's fighting at an even pace, even though he's unloading on Van Heerden. Doesn't look good for Van Heerden in the late rounds. And start to lose it, uh, uh, unwrap. So far. Zero. Zero. <laughs> if, you're, if you're lucky, wow. you can barely see anything on that thing. That uppercut's been vicious all night long. And on that eye. And what makes that jab so effective is even when you're setting up, you have to start over when that just Loving to get a big showing here. Impressive enough. Or do I need to put a stamp on this? The 12 of them by their count compared to them. What Van Heerden is relying on with the mugging, with the clown, is that maturity will be the difference. I'll get this young kid angry, get him off yeah, his game, right get him out. to throw something stupid. Virtually everyone who's watching this fight's scorecard, Van Heerden's in knockout or nothing range. So why not try everything? Wow. Oh, and down he goes for the first time in his career. Chris Van Heerden knocked down. He has 40 seconds with which to work in round seven. Have to remember, it's round seven. He's been eating punches these, this entire time. All that damage soaking in. I don't. He's taking. It's not going to take much. Oh. And again, that body. Oh, oh. Okay. Okay. Oh, he, you know what? He heard the clapper clap. went, and he thought it was the bell. And that shows you the mental state. We are now into round number eight, and Errol Spence Jr. has been. Oh. Spence felt something there as they, after the break for the mouthpiece, he wanted every bit of it. They're bugging. But now he can only lay up against the ropes. This seems like it could be a matter of time. And you know what? That's enough. Alan Hudgens stops the fight in round number eight. Errol Spence Jr. Still undefeated Errol. The truth. Spence. Yeah.